What's the sweetest thing a kid has said to you? A kid at the gym asked me if I was Wolverine. Are you? Recently a kindergartner could not pronounce my name and called me Ms. Cool so if you excuse me, I'm just gonna go legally change my name to that bye. You two are like Christmas. A friend's little daughter to me and my wife. It was an indirect comment. My teenage son had a friend over and my husband and I were having a dance party for two. The boys came upstairs and I tried to invite them in. Of course my son wanted nothing to do with it, but his friend whom I know well jumped right in. I later heard him tell my son that he wished his parents loved each other like his parents do. Happy but sad in this situation. Back in college my figure drawing class went to the senior's home next to campus to practice drawing pictures of older people. A woman asked me to draw her 4 year old visiting granddaughter. I was happy to drew the picture and gave it to them. They left. Grandma was huffy and rude the whole time, but the girl was very sweet. Thought that was that. But then about 15 minutes later the little girl darted back into the room alone and gave me two crumpled dollar bills. I wanted to give you my soda money since you drew such a pretty picture of me. And then she darted back out before I could respond. Best two dollars I've ever made as an artist. I worked with kids with Asperger's a while back and this one kid, Peter, came running up to me so excited and he says guess what I have in my pockets? Question mark? So I ask what? And he goes nothing. And him like I guess that's neat. And he goes you don't understand. Think of all the things I can put in them. Exclamation mark. Taught me a real life lesson there. Thanks Peter. Your life will be spared. And then walked away. Nothing ominous about that. The dad then explained that this was basically her way of saying I'm upset. But not at you. Apparently she was having a bad day. I was wearing shorts and my niece looked at my stretch marks. I'm very insecure about them and asked what they were. So I told her. Then she said oh I think they look really cool. They look like lightning bolts. Ever since then I've referred to my stretch marks as lightning bolts. That just triggered a memory of my late father and now I'm laughing. My dad had his leg amputated and we were at an outpatient clinic at the hospital. This cute little girl comes skipping along and had the saddest look in her eye and said, Oh my god. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Where is your leg? Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. The mother looked so horrified and my dad and I just burst out laughing. I have covered and have been quarantined in my bedroom for 3 days. My 6 year old keeps slipping I love you mommy notes under the door. I love her. My husband's ex-wife hasn't been in the picture with the kids since she remarried the man she was cheating on him with right after the divorce. The youngest wasn't even a year when she split and hadn't really seen any of them since. He had primary custody already, but she gave up all rights when we decided to get married because she wanted to be free of the burden and figured then I could deal with them since I wanted to marry him. They are three super sweet girls and I was pissed how she more or less just threw them away. The youngest was 5 at the time this happened and me and her teenage sister were talking about it when she hit me with this. I'm glad you're gonna be my only mama. She wasn't my mama. Not like you. Apostrophe. Then her eyes got really big and scared and she said in the tiniest voice, are you happy you're gonna be my mama? Apostrophe. I assured her I was very happy to be her mama and might've cried later on about it. When my son was about 2, he and my wife were singing the wheels on the bus. They were sitting in the other room going through all the verses, the driver on the bus, the babies on the bus, etc. With my wife singing the lyrics and my son providing the appropriate response for what the various things and people do and or say. They get to what is typically the last verse, the mom is on the bus say, shh, shh, shh. But instead of ending the song my wife adds a verse, from the other room I hear. My wife, the dad is on the bus say, my son, I love you, still makes me tear up thinking about it. <laughs> Little background info to clarify what is the sweetest thing. Just got out of jail after 145 days for a third time possession charge. My best friend picked me up from jail and brought me to his house for a place to stay since I lost my apartment. His son is 9 and wanted to hear a story. So I told him the story of Arthur Smenethel from World of Warcraft 
because I know it from the heart. I had to act dramatic while telling it. He told me I wish you could tell me stories like that every day. I don't know why, but that little comment to me was the best and sweetest thing I've heard in so long. My teenage daughter told me, Mom, I'm the only one of all my friends who is really happy. I think it's because I have you. Apostrophe. I would die for that kid. Here. This can be your tip. Apostrophe. Needs context. Though. I was delivering pizza to his house in late April, many years ago. His mom apologized for not having enough money to give me a tip. I told her it was no big deal. The kid ran off for about a minute as I exchanged the pizza for a check. And he returned with a little bag of Easter candy, which he gave to me. My four yo niece whispered in my ear, I'm so proud of you. Apostrophe. My 5 year old niece climbing onto the couch I want to sit with Uncle David because he's sweet and he's handsome. Melted my damn heart. Many years ago I passed a father and approximate 5 year old son in a hospital corridor. I smiled at them. They both smiled back. As they walked away I heard the dad say that lady sure had a pretty smile. Didn't she? She sure did. Dad. It was incredibly sweet and I've never forgotten that. Mark Twain was right. You can live off a nice compliment for a long time. I worked at a middle school in my late 20s. And I was really stressing about getting older. A student, very earnestly, walked up to me and asked if I was a teacher or a student. I hadn't been a middle school student in 15 years. So it was a little ridiculous. But it made my whole week. I have fairly terrible self-esteem surrounding my physical appearance. Walked out of a bathroom stall and a little girl, maybe 4 or 5, was next to me when washing our hands. She stared at me the whole time. And I'm thinking this kid is staring at me because I look gross. Kids can't help it. Etc. And then suddenly she said, you're pretty. I swear it caught me so off guard I didn't respond. So she repeated it. My heart was set to burst. When my 10 year old stepdaughter asked if she can call me daddy. My son used to ask random people if they wanted a lick of his lollipop. He was the sweetest boy ever, still is, but honestly a wonder he didn't die of plague. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.